Hey everyone, so I've got the uh, <clears throat> Odin 85 years figure. Um, so we've had Odin figures, but nothing like this big. And like, I'm really excited about it because Odin's like um, actually a really big character in the comics. Like, I mean, obviously important, but like, you know, as far as size, he's huge. Um, so yeah, so now we got like a figure that kind of matches that size, that girth or whatnot. Um, <clears throat> but pretty much, you know, you get a bunch of accessories here too, like sword staffs, helmets, extra hands, all that stuff. Then you get like a couple crows. Forgot the name of it. Um, but anyways, so on the top we get the, uh, 85 years thing. On the side we get a picture of them here. On the back we get like a big picture of them. Um, so... Anyways, I'm gonna crack them open and check them out. All right, so I got them out of the package. Um, definitely very impressed with it. Um, what I need to do is grab like a Thor figure and like kind of put him next to him so you can kind of get an idea just like how big this guy is. But like he is absolutely huge. Um, so we do get like a, quite a bit of accessories. Um, so we got like his staff. Looks totally new to me. Don't. Remember this from anything else. Get a sword as well. Um, looks really good. Has like kind of a blue kind of jewel looking thing here in the middle. Um, so he has like kind of gripping hands out of the package. And then we get like an alternate like right fisted hand and then a left um, open hand. God dang. Um, also too, get some crows. I can't remember what the crow's name was in Norse mythology, but you get like one that's kind of open. I remember they were kind of like eyes, you know, sights like ears or something like that. Um, same thing here. So get like kind of just a rest in one. And it looks like they're just all like one color. Even the eyes are not painted. So that kind of, that's kind of a bummer. You know, same thing here. Just now noticing that. Yeah, um, do get alternate heads, so I, I'm assuming like the top of his head pops off because there's like a little piece here where that pops on, so that's kind of like his, um, you know, major helmet, I guess. And then we get this one, the big horns, looks like it does the same. So, um, the figure itself, oh my god, like there's just so much detail in this figure, like it's just, you know all over the place. Um, have like the blue plate in here that kind of matches these chains. Gold plate here with all this stuff here. Um, I have the shoulder pads. They're kind of like a bronze and gold. Has some like uh, wear on it as well. Gauntlets are kind of the same way. They have some wear on there. Has some spikes here too. Um, as far as articulation, I mean, it's pretty simple. Like he does have like these wrists that kind of go up and down. So you can see that little cut right there. Um, let's see, it's like his double jointed knees. Yeah, so there's like two joints there. He does have like a cloth cape, so that's really cool. Like, um, you know, I guess his cape don't really stand out so much. And the face looks great. I mean, you know, yeah, it looks kind of like Santa Claus, but that's Odin too, so. Um, as far as taking this part, I guess his head would pop off. Okay. Oh, that whole thing comes off. So that's it. It's like, gets one piece and, um, you know, that's what you see there and that kind of comes through. So you take the cape off real easy. Um, you take this one, just kind of see what this looks like. So, I'll be right back. I'm gonna try some of the head sculpts and do that. All right, so I just want to stop and show you this one here. So like this is, um, I'm not sure, like one of the more the more glamorous helmet, I guess. But like, um, so it's got a piece like there inside that just pops in. You kind of push it forward and down. Um, so his neck doesn't really like lean back or forward. Uh, it just kind of goes side to side. So there's not like, um, really there's no movement because like his hair is, um, Kind of the way here too. Like this piece has the hair and everything. So it goes like that. Um, and then once you do that, like this piece have the hair with it. 
So you basically just put the, um, this back piece, this fur on the back, it just pops over where the cape is. So I'm gonna do the other one too, and uh, be back and show you that. All right, so here he is with the other one. Uh, so unlike this, like, well, this is the hair he had, and this is the one that had a piece of hair with it. Um, this one doesn't, so we're really looking from the back, it's just completely covered. So, uh, assuming his hair will be tucked in there. I really like this one. I mean, like, the horns are really well done. Yeah, it's a good color on it and everything. Um, does kind of leave a gap here. You know, it's not bad, but it's just, you know, that's there. Um, still having a hard time trying to get him to stand. For some reason, he wants to fall over. Usually bigger figures like this are pretty sturdy. He's not bad, it's just, you know, kind of throwing me off this like that. Um, I think I like this one the best. Like if I'm gonna pose them, I think I'm gonna do that. I do wanna try putting some of the arms and stuff on them, like the crows and stuff like that. So I'm gonna step away and try to figure that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I know this kinda looks terrible, but like um, when I saw the online pictures, I was like thinking there was like somewhere where you actually snap in the crows, but um, not necessarily. So what it is, I actually tucked his feet underneath the shoulder pad here. Just kind of seems to stand there. I probably won't display it with the uh, crows. This one here, probably could do the same thing. I just kind of put it on the horn to see what it looked like. And yeah, it was kind of terrible, but you know, this one, I guess you would just want to put like, you know, down on the ground or something or, you know, display it somewhere. But yeah, that's kind of what I did. and. Might be able to do something similar with this. Eh, you know, eh, I'll probably just pass on that. Um, so as far as the weapons, let's see. Uh, he's got some tight shoulders, that's for sure. So. Man, I'm gonna have to come back and work on this elbow. So I'm gonna try to put some of his weapons on. All right, so I got him back with the um, weapons in hand. Just kind of want to show you that both these are the grip in hand. So um, in the middle part of this is behind his hand though, but there's like a little piece that kind of holds it in there. Uh, otherwise it's pretty tight grip. Kind of the same thing here too. Um, I will say though, like he doesn't have a whole lot of articulation. So it's just single jointed elbows. It is double jointed knees, um, but man, you've really got to like kind of work them out. Like, I mean, mine's kind of tight, which is a good thing because it'll, you know, stay tighter over time. Um, but yeah, and like, even when like you're spreading his legs, so I've kind of got like a little bit of a wider base here. Um, have to kind of work that in. But, um, so what I'm gonna do next is uh, break out like a Thor figure I got and just kind of show you like a comparison of that. I think I've got the two pack with the destroyer. That might be a good comparison altogether. So anyways, I'll be right back. All right, so this is like the uh, two pack that came out um, like a year or two ago. Um, I mean, I've had it for a while, but like um, it's the one that came out like um, what's well, it? Ollie's for like clearance or something like twenty bucks for some reason it didn't sell. But this hopefully gives you an idea of just how big Odin is. Like the destroyer, like he's you know probably a little bit taller but not near as wide as Odin. And then obviously, you know, against Thor. And Thor's like a pretty good size, you know, figure. He's supposed to be like, you know, I don't know, pushing seven foot, six and a half feet or something like that. So he's like a bigger, you know, figure as far as that goes. Um, so yeah, I just want to put that in perspective. This figure, one thing I forgot to mention is $60. So this is kind of like the Hulkbuster uh, Iron Man figure. But it is big, like it's, you know, you get a, a lot of figure, a lot of accessories and stuff like that too. So that might, you know, shy some people away from it. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm really impressed with it. I think it's really awesome. I'm glad they made like a big, bulky, larger than life kind of Odin figure. Um, you know, it's definitely better than the all-father figure that they built a figure they did years ago. Um, I can't really think of any other Odin figures offhand. If y'all can think of anything, just let me know. And feel free to add some pictures and stuff too to kind of help refresh my memory and everyone else's. Just lay down. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching.